you have to take advantage of every little opportunity you're given because just one mistake is such a big punish. And I can see why. You saw later into the game he was using jabs more often. It was yep. working in his favor. Yeah, totally. Uh, K7 adapted very well. Um, if he can start off the set with that kind of with that kind of mindset, you saw him slow it down a lot. You saw him hold stage control more, kind of make Darshad play into his hand, and it worked out very well for him. It's just he ended up slipping. Um, I think Kesef spent a little too much time in Darshad's face. Yeah. Because uh, Ryu dominates that close that close quarters game. He really does, especially with a fast faller such as. Fox, against yeah. the fast followers such as Fox. Uh, up till it really does beat out like every hitbox Fox has in that kind of situation. I believe it. Yeah, it's, but, it's very scary. But right now, losers finals, the run back from winners semis, or it was either winners semis uh, yeah, it was or winners semis. Okay, just making sure. Dark Shed versus JJ Rockets, Diddy versus Reed. So okay. uh, Diddy has been kind of a demon for Dark Shad. Um, he's had a lot of struggles in this matchup, but he's been working very hard to try to overcome it, trying to pick up other characters, seeking other options. Um, but sticking with his tried and true Ryu right now, um, what, from what he told me, it was a very close set in winter semis. It was 2-1. Uh, so let's see if he's going to be able to do this here. And right now he's looking pretty good. 50% sitting on JJ right now, and Shad is just keeping the pressure going. Yeah, and I also don't want to – Shad did beat JJ Rockets at Midwest Mayhem 4. Yes, he did. Uh, I believe that was a – it was a – Oh, my goodness. Hold the forward throw. Yeah. Okay, if that would have killed, that would have been very, <laughs> very surprising. That's yeah, immediate that That would have been a little moment. suspect. Um, so I think JJ Rockets, one thing I noticed about his Diddy Kong is he loves monkey monkey flip. He really does. And if you saw the set from Winter Side, he was catching Shad a lot with those later um, into the uh, game three. Yeah, and, and the reason that is is because JJ spends his entire game conditioning you to shield. Um, exactly. He punishes you for it early with grabs, and then he punishes you later with monkey flips once he knows you're going to be shielding a lot in neutral. And by the way, that monkey flip from underneath the stage, uh, catching the ledge. That was crazy. Yeah, that was a little interesting. I, I would that is his trademark right there, monkey uh, flip right now. So one thing I've seen Darkshad talking about recently is when he does get the banana, he wants to utilize it better. Right, I've seen him just Z, uh, Z dropping the banana and, oh, trying to go for a kill confirm. Yeah, no that was fail. very scary for yeah, JJ Rockets Yeah, it really right there. was. Yeah. But yeah, he go, he uh, just he kind of does what these do. Those he drop in next immediately fair the banana. So they have a hitbox out and grabbing the banana yeah. at the same time. That's something he's been working on a lot with. Um, what I've been hearing from a lot of Ryu players is how uh, how efficient the ledge is in this matchup for Ryu, and that's gonna kill man JJ on point with his confirms. I love how he just slowly walks up and down. Right. Tips. It's so, you see it coming from a mile away. Because once again, as we were just talking about that conditioning game, JJ is just a master of it, man. Oh, and nice ledge cancel with that monkey flip. Well, you can tell this man, he really knows how to utilize that move, probably better than most Diddy's. Man, and I absolutely love that play from JJ Rockets. He threw the, the banana, knowing Darshan was gonna try to catch it, and then tried to monkey flip it for it, but just missed. And look at these edge cancel right now. But Darshat will get the punish. Okay, he was getting a little hasty right there, he doing his best. To, he does not want to deal with Diddy with the lead. Okay, so let's see. Oh man, that's a great option right there. Not so, sure if he meant the jab, but it still worked for him. So one thing I think JJ is doing very well is in those close quarter zones, he's picking the right options. Um, he's a f he's using a lot of down tilts. He's using a lot of fairs to kind of stuff out Ryu. But man, Dark Shad's punish game right now, getting those perfect shields and then converting off of them how he has to. And he actually stuffed the monkey flip right there with up tilt. Not able to get anything off of it, but doing his best just to keep stage control and yeah. keep the pressure going. Oh man, and that's another instance of conditioning right there. Using that down tilt and then knowing he's going to try to spot dodge the grab, ends up monkey flipping him for he it. He walked away from it as well. Oh, up tilt's coming out yeah. from Shad. Jump sure you. That will not close out the stock. Crucial mistake there from JJ accidentally jumping in the air dodging back onto the stage, but he won't die for it, just barely. Oh, and that's such a scary position. It really is. Oh, and he no, catches and the monkey flip, oh. jump sure you, coming out again in wow. second time. That was great by Darshad, man. His punishes have been so on point. That, that game, man, he literally, every time JJ got in his face, every time JJ did something unsafe on his shield, he was perfect shielding it and he was punishing it effectively. That's good, that's good. That's showing that he's improving in the matchup. These two have gone back and forth. Obviously, JJ up uh, in their set counts total about well, counting today, that's a uh, three-one. Three-one. Okay. Three-one. So definitely uh, not a steep hill to climb, but um, kind of a mental one. Uh, Darshad definitely, if he can get this win right now, that would be huge for his morale going into tomorrow, especially. Right. Funny thing is, on the drive here, uh, Grandshad actually offered me five dollars 
to tell him why he has trouble with Diddy. No way. Yes. <laughs> I haven't gotten to five dollars yet. <laughs> oh, shout out to Grand Shad. <laughs> shout out to Grand Shad. He's in the background right there. Yo, real MVP right here. Number zero on the Ohio PR. Using Gokin, who's not in Smash Four. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I spent about a good thirty minutes lecturing Shad on him versus the Diddy matchup, telling him why he lost to uh, one of our local Diddy Sai yeah. yesterday, um, and the week before that, our locals. But. That's other news. Right now, we're going to Doug on for game yeah, two. Interesting counter pick here from JJ. I think he wants this big amount of space to be able to operate how he wants. It's funny. I see a lot of, I don't know what it is about um, Chicago and them. They really love Duck Right, Hunt. Tyroy is notoriously a fiend for this stage. Right now. With the oh my goodness, Shad. Oh, and the Only at 64% and JJ I like that 94. punish. Um, so, oh wow, and actually punishing the focus there with an up smash. Great play by JJ. Right, he's showing he's still alive. Oh man, but I don't know if that was an accident, but great job by JJ covering his mistake with that back air. All right, and right now Shad has to really be patient. As you saw, he was really wanting that kill. Yeah, you can see he has this lead right now, and the worst thing that he can do is get overly thirsty for it right now and let JJ take back control. All right, and this is one of the things I was talking to him about on the uh, on the car right here. I was like, in this kind of situation where you have the lead, you really want to get banana and force Diddy to approach you. Yeah, totally. And uh. Oh man, Shad just getting so antsy with these shore use right now and JJ punishing effectively. And right now, you saw how antsy he was getting and all the times JJ has punished him, they're now about even on percent. This is not looking too good for Shad right and now. And now you see Shad uh, overcorrecting a little bit here. He noticed he was getting antsy and then he just uh, kind of gave up stage control and sat on the other side of the stage trying to be more defensive, but I actually really like that recovery option. Right, I was not expecting that. Sure, even to the top platform of the tree just to make himself safe. Obviously something that JJ was not expecting. <laughs> yeah, reminiscent of something uh, a Mewtwo King Cloud would do. Oh my goodness, jumps from the ledge, yeah. catches him trying to chase him with that back air. Okay, Chad, seeing it, 115%, able to close out JJ's first stock. Yeah, man, this is great for him right now. Up 1-0 in the set. Oh, and JJ so deep off stage with Shad unable to, to punish in time. And I really like that option. And he's choosing to play lame right here, because why not? But lands. That's not going to kill. Just Ryu about, incredibly heavy. Though. Just about. If he had even the slightest bit of rage, that probably would have been the end of that stock. And Chad, just playing lame, because why not? You took yeah. him to this big stage, and... He's just using it to his advantage right now. I'm kind of split on it because uh, I do like the fact that he's being more defensive, kind of just because one thing about Ryu is it doesn't take much for him to rack up that extra credit, right? Just one mistake from JJ will result in a lot of percent. It most definitely But will. at the same time, do you really want to give JJ Rockets full stage control and then give him momentum going into that next stock? True, true. It's kind of, it's a double-edged sword. It definitely is, but I mean, you know, compared to the other alternatives, it might prove to be effective for Shad. Right, right. But right now, sitting at 170, he yeah, is so stage. Oh my goodness, Man. the fair. Love that play from JJ right there. He kind of jumps and baits him to air dodge, expecting him to go out on the stage earlier, and then he punishes that air dodge with the forward air, taking that stock. So now a very good position for JJ as he gets this grab. Nice right. focus, though. Trying to get the momentum going for himself. Shad doing his best, trying oh to not let him God. do it, and the dog helping out. But now the dog going against JJ, catching him with them up tilts. Yeah, man, and that was very interesting how you saw JJ Rockets actually react to the... Oh my God. <laughs> this man is that was on a, a mission. Scary. JJ just uh, just sitting on the ground there. Probably his best option in reality. Oh, and I love the Z-Drop play. He's actually going to get a big conversion off that in an unconventional way. And we're just about even yet again. JJ starting out this match looking pretty suspect, but right now, again, we're about even on percent, and he's showing that he's still in this. And, man, I am uh, very happy to see JJ. He, done, he did exactly what he had to do. He lost that lead. He let Shad play more defensive, and as soon as he got his opening, he took it and he ran with it, and right now he has full control going into the last half of this game. All right now, right now, Shad, obviously, 89% has rage. Did he sit in the 67? This is still doable for Shad. And man, that banana peel is proving to be such a nuisance for Shad. So many times he's had an open punish opportunity and then just gets tripped by the banana on like the second oh, ball of it. Oh Ooh, my this goodness. Could be it. He just ran in, but. Great job by JJ. Uh, one thing I love seeing from JJ right now, he's not getting shaken by those close situations. A lot of players get overly nervous and then start to choke when they're in close quarters against Ryu. JJ is thriving off of it right now. Right now he's trying to go for this edge guard right now and he just mm. sure uses onto the stage, does not punish him. Man, and I think that's something that Shad does a lot. And you might think it's a bad option, but how many people are ready for that? Oh, the oh. back air, will that be able to do it? No, yeah. it will not. Great, uh, great read. He knows JJ loves to monkey flip, especially hide to recover. Ends up getting that back air to punish it. And this is such a tight game right now. Both characters just one hit away. Exactly. Oh, not and he gets a banana trip, and he's actually going to get the roll away read. Oh and a great goodness. punish by JJ Rockets. He doesn't go for the grab like many Diddy players would. Instead, he takes the game with the up smash. And amazing punishes and adaptations coming out from JJ as well. Yeah, I man, the way he played that second stock was amazing. It really was. 
And this is a 1-1 one, one set. It is. Best <laughs> this of five, and it's 1-1. One, one. Are we going to see a game five? Yeah, that was only game two. Man, that's crazy. If, if this set continues to progress in that way, I, would, I can't wait to see the adaptions that come out. And uh, something interesting here, you see uh, k was doing this every time, now JJ as well, resetting their controller after every game. Right, I was told of the situation. Um, I was playing Advo and Bracket, and um, he told me why he does that, why the whole scene up here does that. Just a previous bad situation where k yep. didn't have a button working, yep. so now he does it after every match. Is that Big House, right? I, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. I think it was against uh, Fatality. But moving on to game three here, we have a Battlefield counterpick from Shad. Do you, uh, do you know why? I'm honestly not sure. I mean... Um, I, I, I know most Diddy's consider this to be their worst stage, if not Lilat. Really? Uh, yeah, I think Diddy has a very hard time uh, finishing kills on this stage. I could see why. Yeah. You know, Diddy does benefit from the platforms, the platform canceling. And um, sort of. It's a double-edged sword because while you do get that op that um, more movement options, you also get the opponent able to platform camp you. True, true. And if opponent takes the lead against you and you're holding banana, there's not much you can really do with it uh, when they're platform camping. But JJ punishing these shield, these uh, dash up shields by Dark Shad so effectively right now. Right, and as you were saying, Ooh, oh my goodness, uh, the back actually, the back hit of down smash sending him out to the blast zone. Oh my goodness. Okay, that well, just happened. Okay, basically, um, our local uh, Diddy main, um, Saeed, he showed me a video, pretty much the Diddy chat, and someone had found that. Basically, if you Z drop it, it'll knock him out of the uh, Shoryu, and yeah. you just down air him. But he missed the situation. But mm -hmm. regardless, he's still able to close out that stock. But now you got to know the fear is going to be present in Dark Shadow when he tries to go for that. What, what would normally be the safest option. Exactly. So now he has that to worry about. Yeah, exactly. And this, in game three of this, of this uh, best of five set, too. Uh, up tilt's coming in. Shoryu, that wow. will do it. I was like, OK, no, he's fine. Nope, Man, I think mind. it killed just because of he was at the very top of the up tilt hitbox. Yeah, that, yeah. that makes sense. Jeez. Oh. Um, although we saw JJ play from behind, um, I feel like Dark Shad is doing a really good job. Um, okay, okay. I, I like these jabs right now. But I think Dark Shad is doing a very good job of uh, kind of putting on pressure effectively without kind of over committing. Because you can't over commit against, against Diddy Kong. Obviously, he has probably the best out of shield game. He really does. It's very beneficial for his play, whether it be down tilt, whether it be fair, whether it be back air. And I like that back throw. Um, something that's kind of like a new trend in Smash 4 right now are people trying to throw people on the platforms and forcing tech chases. But the character like Ryu with uh, such great aerials, I think that's a very effective option that's really overlooked. Because Ryu's throw game, obviously not too effective. But if you can force situations for your opponent in which they have to react, you can always get a punish off it. All right, now we're looking reminiscent to game two where Shad has to make the comeback, but at the same time, he's hot, he has Rage and JJ in kill percent. Yeah, so you see Shad going for a lot of these raw Shoryukens. He's kind of trying to read a, a dash in, or maybe even a monkey flip in that situation. Oh my goodness, that Nair was so scary for JJ Rockets. Oh, and that will not be at the platform. Oh my goodness, saving wow. him. He's able to roll out of that situation, but... Oh, as I was just about to say, yep. Dark Shad had banana. Yep, Shad loses the banana, and now off stage, JJ in a ledge trap situation, but uh, Shad actually gets back on stage very nicely with the platform and gets back to center stage. And right now, both play, uh, uh, patient play coming out from oh, both play, reads the roll yeah. into the up smash. And uh, that can be a very tilting situation there. Shad looking for the punish and once again tripping on the banana peel. And JJ Rockets, as just like game two, cleaned up uh, efficiently with a nice punish. All right. He is now on match point right now. Yeah, what JJ Shad looking to get that do? run back with the buzz. I don't know how they're uh, how they're setting winners finals went. It was a three one to buzz. Um, okay. JJ was able to take game off his Olimar. Oh really? Mhm. Mm okay, so he went Olimar. Um, the buzz notably, uh, you know, has uh, gone even with a lot of Diddy Kongs. He's lost to Zenodo, I believe, at CEO. Yeah. He beat him and actually lost to him in losers. Yeah. Um, zero, obviously has always been, as for everyone in this game, a demon. But um, oh the Buzz did take him out at What the Fox 2. So. Yes, he did. What, just using Rosa. Yeah. I was actually there. That was very interesting to see. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys were there. OK, so we have Lilac Cruz coming out for Dark Shad, switching it up. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I mean, there's a possibility he could mess with Diddy's recovery, but at the same time, he messes with his own. I actually like this pick. Um, I think what Shad needs, I think JJ is feeling very comfortable in the game right now, and I think uh, Shad can really use this X Factor that Lilat presents to his advantage. Now, X Factor, what do you mean by that? Um, just the fact that it kind of changes the game. Like, 
things, just the little micro situations that players like JJ and Chad are so used to, um, little things change. The little movement options, he can't monkey flip as effectively and, uh, and cancel lag as well because of the tilt of the stage. Exactly. Um, it's definitely going to have some effect on the game. All right, and patience coming out from both players. And uh, JJ just throwing out back air to punish yeah. Chad walking away. He was obviously trying to bait a reaction out there uh, out of uh, – JJ, but JJ not falling for it, Man. obviously. Oh, in the nanner wow. into down smash. Able to close out that first stock. Only Dude. one minute in, and JJ already with the lead. JJ match seriously point. turned up right now. He is playing this perfectly, but that's going to be a free punish for Shad, but it's not going to kill him. No, he just ran up short. You know up tilt's coming out from him. No rage on Ryu. Yeah, I think he's getting a little eager for the punishes. Plus the high ceiling on the stage really coming in handy for JJ. Man, JJ is just controlling the neutral game so effectively right now. And, and a thing about the monkey flips, too, is, like we said before, those close quarter situations with Ryu, so scary. Um, but monkey flip allows JJ to escape. And right now, he's just trying his best to try and get this kill. He was obviously going for the whiff F smash Man. into Shoryu, but JJ immediately punishes yeah. with that monkey flip. Yeah, JJ just so smart with the monkey flips right now. But Shad, okay, he's going to get that kill. Obviously, Ryu, and he has banana, too, which is going to be big, which is gonna be uh, very big for him. Nice, right. he's going to be able to get a punish, punish here. Oh, does not get much off of it. Yeah. Only 14% for his troubles, man. Yeah. This is going to be a – it's going to take all Shad has right now to come back into this game. Oh, that was supposed to be F smash. Obviously, missed input coming out from him. Tries to get him with the uh, Z drop nanner into down air. No avail. He just rolls out of the situation. Yeah, second breath of life here for Shad. Oh, man, and he is recovering on that platform – on that stage every time. JJ mixing – I love what JJ is doing because he's going to different parts of the stage to try to condition that to continue to happen, and it does, and he punishes effectively either way. No All right, Shad, back against the wall, sitting at 176 percent. It's obviously oh, that shield JJ reads the roll again, good. and he's able to close it out against Dark Shad. JJ three, Rockets one. taking it three-one. He played great that set. He played that matchup textbook. He really did. It was just his less trapping. Yeah, his less.